So nice to see you back at Garfin's Creation. Today at Garfin's Creation, we'll be making Goan sausage ring. In this video, we'll be making a very simple and easy and yet so delicious Goan sausage chili fry and the dough for the outer ring. So let's begin with the recipe. We will start with the dough first. This is two and a half cup of maida, all purpose flour. I'll be adding half a teaspoon of salt into it and also be adding two tablespoons of salted butter. I have taken room temperature amul butter. We'll add it to the flour and just mix it in. Rub the butter and the flour till you get a nice sand like texture. Just rubbing the butter to the flour for about a minute or so you will get this texture for the flour. Using some room temperature water I'll be making a nice soft dough out of this. I have taken approximate 1 cup of water that is 200 ml. Depending on the flour you may need something more or little less. Add the water gradually till you get a nice soft dough. I have used a little less than 1 cup, almost 3 fourth cup of water and I will just now knead this for a minute or so. Our dough is ready and we will let it rest for around 15 minutes. In the meantime, let's make the Goan sausage filling. I have just heated a pan and I've sliced three onions, that is one and a half cup of sliced onion, one big tomato and one green chili. Add them all into the pan. I have taken three fourth cup of Goan sausages, which I've removed the skin and taken the meat only. And also be adding half a cup of water. Add all the ingredients together at one time and just give it a quick stir. This Goan sausage filling is really very easy to make. All you have to do is add it into the pan along with water and then cover it and cook it for around 15 minutes. Also do keep checking and stirring in between. You can use this Goan sausage chili fry with along with bread or Goan pow as well. Also make hot dogs out of it. So now after 15 minutes of cooking, the Goan sausage is cooked but still there is a little water. So I will now cook this on high flame so that the water dries off and you get a nice dry filling. You can taste this and adjust the salt and I have just added a pinch of salt here. You can add it accordingly. And then I will be adding a handful of coriander leaves, say around 2 to 3 tablespoons and stir that as well. Once this is done, we will put off the flame and let this cool completely. Even as it cools down, the Goan sausage will leave some oil. Just put it onto a plate and kept it a bit tilted so that the excess oil comes out. Once the filling is cooled down, we will start making the Goan sausage ring. The dough too is nice and soft. I will just knead it for a minute and then make it into a long roll. I will be now dividing this into 6 portions. After dividing this into 6 portions, I will just roll it into a round ball. I will also cover it with a cloth so that it does not dry off. You can divide the dough into 8 portions to make smaller rings out of this. I will be making medium size of the ring. So I will divide it into 6 portions. I will be now rolling this into a chapati. For each ring you require 2 chapatis. I will roll this round about 8 inches in diameter. I've used some maida to dust the counter so that I can roll it easily. So this is ready. I'll just keep it aside and roll out one more. You can use the same technique and use puff pastry dough too to make this into puff pastry rings. You can check out my easy method of making the puff pastry dough. I'll share the link below as well. Once I have rolled out the second one too, I'll be applying some butter over it. I'll just spread a little butter over it and dust it with some maida as well. And place the other chapati over it. And just stretching it, just pull it towards the sides. So it covers the lower chapati well. And once this is done, I will just press it a little. And start rolling it out into a long rectangle. 
I will be baking these rings today but if you want you can also deep fry them. If you intend frying them I would advise you to make until smaller ones so that they get cooked well from inside while they are being fried. So now I have rolled this out. This is around 12 inches in length and around 10 inches in width. And you can check out the thickness as well. It is not too very thick. And you can see the amount of oil that keeps coming out from the Goven sausage. So as I have tilted the plate, it comes to one side and it just take the dry portion of the filling. And replace it in the lengthwise on one side of the roll out dough. After adding the filling on one side of the dough, lift one side of the dough over it and seal it well. I am just pressing the edges so that the filling does not come out. After rolling it once more, you can use a pizza cutter or a knife and make some slits at the other side of the dough. You can make the slits of any size, finer or even thicker ones will do. Then roll it once more over the slits. And now we will be turning it round to make it into a ring. If you intend frying this, you will have to seal this well so that it does not open up while being deep fried. The end portion you need to tuck it down so that it sticks well. Then onto a baking tray, I will just grease it well with sufficient oil. You can also use butter here and place the ring over it. After placing it on the baking tray, I will just brush it with some egg wash. I have just beaten one egg and will just brush it all over the ring. This will give a nice golden color once it's baked. With the quantity mentioned, you will get three medium sized rings out of the filling and the dough. So I will keep this aside and make the other two as well. As I said earlier, if you want to make a smaller ones, just divide the dough into smaller portions. To avoid the oil coming out, seal the edges well. If you want to fry these, make a smaller ones and insert a wooden screw right through the ring so that it doesn't open up while being fried. With all the tips that I have shared in this video, I hope you too will be making these very soon. So this is a nice way of giving a new twist to the Govan sausage. I hope you are all enjoying watching my videos. If you do, please do subscribe to Garfin's Creation and support me in a small way. I really enjoy all the lovely comments that you leave for each video. So do comment on this video too as to how you like them. Since I am baking this today, I have preheated my oven at 180 degrees centigrade for the last 10 minutes. I will now bake this for around 25 to 30 minutes with both the heating coils on. Depending on your oven temperature, you may need something more or less time. Once this is nicely baked and it has a good golden color on top, I will just brush it lightly with some butter. This will add a good shine to the rings. These are ready to be served warm itself. So our Govin sausage ring is ready and let's see how it looks from inside. This is so yum. Thanks for watching and see you soon in the next video. Till then, take good care. Bye-bye.